Welcome to MDigGT, the multidisciplinary integrated design system for gas turbines. In this instructional video, we will guide you through the overall structure and available functionalities of the design tab. In front of you is the main window. It has the button to start a new design and several basic menu commands. We may add additional design windows for multitasking. Use the various buttons to arrange the window in cascade, horizontal, or vertical arrangements. Let us close these windows and start by creating a new design window and open an existing gas file. Find and double click the file of interest and in this particular version of the file, the auto update option will be executed. Click on OK and MDigGT will execute the basic performance analysis, the various compressor and turbine mean lines, and initialization of the airflow geometries. As we can see here, we have opened a two spool turbofan engine with the following identifiable components. We have a single stage fan with bypass stators and struts four compressor boost stages, 10 high pressure compressor stages, followed by a straight flow combustor, two HP turbine stages, and five LP turbine stages. Additionally, we have a representation of the shafts, and this configuration has an unmixed exhaust. The design window contains various tabs that will be used for detailed design and analysis. In this version, we have the following available tabs. The design tab, the inlet tab, the combustor tab, the exhaust tab, and the air system tab. Furthermore, there are two tabs which are still in development, the shaft tabs and the performance tab. To be able to access the various tab windows, you'll need to first select the tab of interest, in this case, the design tab, and right click in the design window to obtain the pop-up menu. Let's select the first choice, step one, preliminary design. The preliminary sizing and performance analysis window is now accessible. This window is used to run the basic design point performance analysis once the conceptual cross-section is created. In this example, we will just run the performance cycle by pressing the green play button. We may review the performance analysis by using the various buttons to expose the data. We have the standard gas turbine station numbering general data, spool inlet and exit temperatures, pressures, and mass flows, and the thrust decomposition for the core and bypass exhaust ducts. Additionally, the main performance parameters of interest are listed such as total thrust, specific fuel consumption, overall pressure ratio, and the fuel to air ratio. For those familiar with SI units, it's just a click away. The take a picture button will save a JPEG image of the cross-section to be used in your documents. We will now go into step 2, design point analysis. This window represents the integrated design and analysis process between mean line stage design for fan, compressor, and turbine stages, detailed airfoil design, and detailed disk design. This window is separated into two main sections geometry visualization to the left and geometry definition to the right. The geometry visualization section to the left has three rows of tabs. We have the engine component tab to select the fan, the compressors, or the turbine stages. The spool number tab is used to select the specific spool. And the stage number tabs are used to select the specific stage. The selected stage will be highlighted by the airflow corner points, which can be mouse manipulated to size the blade rows. The geometry definition section to the right has three unique tabs. The stage tab is used to define the stage mean line geometry and execute the design point mean line analysis. The Airflow tab is used to define the airflow geometry and execute a simplified blade stress analysis. Let's click on the rotor, 
do show all and let's say like the material and the disk tab is used to define the disk geometry and execute a simplified disk stress analysis let's choose a material and enter some boundary conditions now we will be able to run the stress analysis We will now go to step 3, off-design analysis. In this window, we can create the off-design turbine performance maps or use it for mainline matching of compressor test data. Let's select turbine, copy and paste the speed line, and run the off-design design point. And now we'll run the speed line, and we'll choose a part spine speed. In the next videos, we will review in detail the various tab functionalities.